Hello there YouTube, it's me Tali and I'm back again with the video about sewing. Sewing, sewing, sewing. Oh how I love thee. I love thee. I love thee. Mi corazón goes out to sewing. I love it. You guys, I love sewing, okay? I was asked by a couple of members on YouTube or a couple of um, viewers to do some videos about my sewing and like how to design and basically kind of like how-to video so I'm gonna start off this is gonna be kind of like a series I think I'm gonna do like a series about sewing and how-to's and everything like that so this one is gonna start off with the basic things I'm not gonna sew anything so you can forget about that right now I'm gonna give you guys some of the basics I'm gonna give you some learning behind the madness basically so let's begin by telling you some of the essentials that you're gonna need to begin to sew. The number one thing that you're going to need, number one, some great pair of scissors. These are Gingham, Gingham scissors, G-I-N-G-E, no, G-I-N-G-H-E-R, Ginger, Ginger scissors. These scissors cost about 60 or, or no, between 30 to a hundred dollars, right? These are really good scissors. My mom has a larger pair. And these scissors are only used for the cutting of fabric. Mind you, the cutting of fabric. That is the number one rule when sewing. You need to have a separate pair of shears, really good shears, that are specifically for cutting fabric. Only. Other ones that I got from Dollar Store. And they're just simple scissors. And I cut my patterns out with that. Or just other pieces of paper with those. So you want to get a good pair of shears so that you can be able to cut your fabrics. Good pair. These, uh, I don't know what size these are. I really don't know. But you also want to make sure to intake, to take care of your shears. You see this little black thing that it comes with? This is to ensure that there's no dinging or, or scratching of the shears. Because when you ding or scratch the, the blade of the shears, it can affect the cutting of them. And it messes up the quality of them. So you can get your shears. You can also, you're also going to need to get your shears um, like to maintain them. Like you would do with knives or anything. You want to get them sharpened to make sure that you can cut perfectly. So that's one thing that you're going to definitely need when doing sewing. Another thing is a pin cushion. A pin cushion. This is my pin cushion. I made this one. It's crocheted at the bottom and then it has felt to make it look like a little cupcake because I'm infatuated with cupcakes and all that kind of cute stuff. <laughs> so this is my pin cushion. I have simply pins and I just put them there. I have some needles, needles and thread. And these pins I use to um, pin my pattern pieces to my fabric. So they work in, that's basically what I use. So you want to get you a pin cushion. You can get a cute one. You can even make yours. You can get a little one that, just get a piece of fabric, cut it in a square and stuff it with some stuffing, put a little strip so you can kind of put it on your wrist or sit it next to you when you're sewing and just simply take your pins out and put them there. I might do a video on how to make a simple little pin cushion. That might be a first thing that I do. I have to think about that. That would be a great idea. So I might do that, okay? So another thing you're going to need definitely is markers and pins. Markers and pins and, and chalk. Markers, pin, and chalk. Those are the three things that you're going to need when sewing. Because on pattern pieces, sometimes they have, like, when you're putting darts or what have you, you want to make sure that you transfer the markings on the pattern to the mark to the fabric. So that when you begin to sew, you can have the same markings. So you're going to use pins, markers, and chalk. Mostly chalk when you're doing it on fabric, but when you want to make a correction or something on the pattern piece, that's when you would use maybe a pen or a marker. Or when you're drafting your own pattern. That's when you use a pen or marker. And another thing would be a tape measure. This is my tape measure. It's orange. Nothing too cute about it. You know, it's just a simple tape measure. You can get these from like Joann's or craft stores. And all the things that I just showed you, you can get from Joann's or different craft stores. Maybe not Michael's because they're not really a sewing craft store. They're more like a... A general craft store more like a let's say let's see more like a Macy's for crafts basically and a Joann's will be like more like a 
a Ross. Not Ross. I wouldn't even say Ross. Something more general, you know, more specifically on to just those type of crafts. So, and you make sure that you get one that goes from one to... They have longer ones, but just to begin, you get one that goes to one to 60. And that's perfectly large enough for any beginner when doing sewing. And this will help you to measure yourself to a pattern so that you can get the correct pattern. And also, you're going to need some patterns. You know, definitely going to need some patterns. I go to, I go to Joann's. And when, I, when you go to Joann's, remember to always sign up. That is a great idea. I used to talk about that. When you go to Joann's or Michael's, make sure you sign up to do, so that you can get weekly notices in the mail or weekly brochures in the mail. They have lots of sales, lots of, lots of sales. You know about pattern sales. Like, I never buy patterns that are regular price. Regular price pattern might run you about... This one says $17.95, but they take, normally it takes 40% off of that. So it rounds about like maybe maybe about $10. Who wants to pay $10 for a simple shirt? You can go to the store and pay $10 for a shirt, you know? So I wait till they go on sale. They mostly go on sale and they're about a dollar or there's five for a dollar. Who can beat five patterns for a dollar? Five patterns for a dollar. So you get... Say I got five of these. Do you know how many outfits that can that could be? Five. That could be so many different outfits. So you want to make sure you look at the sales papers and try to get some deals on things. Don't always go straight out and buy them. It's not worth it. It's not really worth it. You can always find them at a discounted price. So remember to check out your Joann's or your local craft store and see if they have brochures that you can sign up for a news weekly, I mean newsletters, and so you can get coupons in them as well. And another thing that would be great, 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 and it's kind of like a must when you're first beginning to sew, would be your sewing Bible, basically. I went, well, this is my mom's. I didn't, I kind of use her stuff and my grandmother's stuff. I don't really have to go out and buy my own stuff because they always have stuff and their stuff is great for me. And you want to get you a sewing Bible. Sewing Bible! Everybody has their Vogue's. Like, Vogue is my fashion Bible. I look at that. I have to have that comes into the house every, every month. That's my song. That's my fashion Bible. Get inspired. You need to have a sewing Bible so that you can understand the terminology. Because when dealing with different genres of, of like creativity and everything, there's always terminology or language that you that some might may not know. And the best way to get informed about that kind of stuff is through your sewing Bible. This is Simplicity's simple, simply the best sewing book, and it just has a lot of things and it goes over. It goes over a, a lot of things, like who, if you didn't know the cutting tools, like I just explained to you, there's some cutting tools that I didn't explain, like a, see there's a picture of some kinds of the, the shears, your little ones, I have some of those. These are mostly for when you, um, I use these for getting into little places to cut out little pieces of thread, I love those. And then this is, a, this is called a seam ripper, I have a seam ripper as well. This is my seam ripper. It's pink, you know. It just helps to get rid of the, to cut the seams out like when you make a mistake. This is going to be another thing that's going to be very, very, very imperative that you get when you begin to sew. It's a seam ripper because you are going to mess up a lot. Don't get discouraged though. Don't get discouraged because the best of us have to undo seams and things like that. So... That's just some things that come in this book. They come in books like this. So you might want to go to Barnes & Nobles or check out um, Joann's, for example. They have, like, books that are on sale. You can get them for 40% off sometimes. And they're really good books that will help you if you don't really know how to sew. So, like, a sewing beginner book or other kind of books like that. So check out and see if you can get you a book so that you can understand terminology and really understand what you're doing. And it helps a lot.